Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I just been thanking my God. 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 We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Yeah, I just been thinking my God, yeah. 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 Why do the heathen rage? Cause we the anointed and I just been praying like every day. I need to meditate. And what is important for me to survive in a daughter race? Why everybody vain? They want us up in that cage. I feel like sending lame. I'm about to bring a change. Christ coming back, they gon' swim in flames. And I got this heat fall to my chest. Is that the name of Israel would no more be in your remembrance. So what did they do? When they colonized them, they said, let's call this entire group of Israelites Nigeria. To read something to you, sorry. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 22 5. I just want to read something, I want to read something with you before you go. You understand? I don't want you to go this way. Um, it's very important for us to know who Christ is, and then we have seen that this man here is an imposter. You understand? And then if it, you, we, you have a plan with you, you understand? You can contact us, we have a lot of people. But before you go, I would like to leave you with this. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Read the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Sister Nina, what do women wear today that belongs to men? Sister Nina, Sister Joy, what do men, do women wear today that belongs to men? Read it again, let's read it again. Read it again. This is gonna be chapter 22, verse five. The woman, the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. It said a woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Read, wait. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It said, Gam, okay, Gam. Now let's read, let's read some things about Gam. Now, I'm going to show you from the scriptures now. That in the olden days they wear trousers. That's was right. Called trousers. Now we are going to read it now. Give me the book of um, Exodus. Exodus um, 28, um, 41. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 41. And thou shalt put them upon Elon, thy brother, and his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that thou may minister unto me. In the priest's office, and thou shalt make them linen breeches. He said, If you make them linen breeches, you know what breeches is? You know what breeches is? You know what breeches is? Um, breeches. Breeches is not breech. Breeches. Breeches is actually a pant. That's an old English. This, when, when, you, when you Google breeches in your, in your phone, it's actually it's talking about pants. So men wore pants in the Bible is because Sister just said she was confused when we were bringing out this thing. That is the same confusion they brought to our people, and that is why we are here to what to correct these things. Look at this. This is breeches. Do you understand? Men wore breeches. So it's today called trousers. Do you understand? Women did not wear breeches in the Bible. You understand? That's right. After. So, is this same white man that has called himself Jesus Christ, that all is also telling you that you can actually wear that. That's the Western culture. Soldier. Okay. That man is asking, how, how, how will we be saved? How can we be saved? Yes. Now, we are talking about, okay, let's quickly, it's, it's just part of it. Just part of it. Hello. Hello, sister. So, sister, you're, you're here. So, it said a woman should not wear what? That which pertains unto a man. Do you understand? Neither shall a woman, neither shall a man put on a woman garment. That all that do so are what? An abomination unto the Lord thy God. Do you understand? Now, give me the book of Zephaniah 1 and 8. 
let's see what is going to happen those people are dressed in that way. You understand? Okay, you want to ask a question? Okay, we, you you have a flower with you. Okay, Sister Nena, just read it. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Sister Nena, listen to this. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So everybody who is clothed with a strange apparel shall be punished shall be destroyed by the most high God. You ladies, we are here to wake you up, to make you understand. If you continue to wear your pants, you continue to wear your trousers, which is against the most high, against the Lord of the most high, the most high is going to destroy you. So my uh, sir, are you doing sir? What's your name sir? Okay, my name is Joshua. Okay, okay. So now, these are the things that are going to get our people saved. You understand? Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. It said keep my commandments and live. The commandment I've just showed my sister is the woman should not wear that which pertained unto a man it's wrong and is punishable by death it's punishable by death our women today are found of wearing trousers wearing trousers wearing trousers is going to land you in hell you are going to get destroyed if you continue to put on that which does not pertain to you that's what the Bible is telling you. You understand? Give me the book of um, um, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. 1 Timothy 2 9. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also, the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. It said, in like manner, women should dress in modest apparel. What does modest mean? Modest mean you should wear clothes that cover your body. You should not be dressed in a way that will reveal your shape to the other men to cause them to walk after you. We need to dress in a way that will not show our nakedness to cause our brothers to see. Because our female today they are fond of wearing things that are body revealing. Um, can somebody give me the, uh, the, the meaning of modest, modest apparel? Modest, modest, modest. Just give me uh, the definition of modest. We just read that out to our, our sisters to understand, to understand what modest means. You cannot go out of your house. You are wearing tight clothing. It's going to cause men to lust after you. It will cause men to rape you. We are out here to watch over your soul. Okay. Mothers. Read, read number three. We're talking about mothers apparel. Read number three. Mothers. Mothers. Dressing or behaving so as to avoid impropriety or indecency. Especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. Did you just hear that? Just read the last, bo the bottom part again. Especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. To, to, to avoid attracting sexual attention. That's right. And that is what our female are fond of wearing today. You wear your tight, 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 tight clothes to actually cause your brothers to air. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 27. You wear an indecent dressing, it makes your brother to lust after you. To lust after you. My sister, is it right for, uh, for, a, uh, for a lady to wear trousers? Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 27. Ye have heard that it was said by them of all time, 
Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, and committed adultery with her already in his heart. In his heart. In his heart. So if you are clothed with a clothing which is not a mother's apparel, it causes your brother to lust after you. And in so doing, what are you doing? You are committing adultery. Our people are not aware of this. Our sisters are not aware of this. You can't continue to work and dress in a way that will cause other men to look at you, to lust after you. That means you, you hate your brothers. You hate your brothers. That is what it simply means. If you wear clothing that is revealing your shape, is revealing your body, and your brother is lusting after you, you hate your brother. And I think that you are aware of this. When you leave your house, what you do first is, when you wear your clothes, you look yourself in the mirror. You look at yourself in the mirror and see, am I good enough to cause confusion in the midst of my brothers? We need to repent from all these things. These are things that is causing us to be where we are as a people. This is what is causing us to be where we are as a people. Because our sisters now, even you, who are selling those clothes to them, you are also in sin. Because now, you go to the market, okay, what is involved? What is involved that I can sell? Now, the clothing that you want to sell is the clothing that will reveal your sisters and bring out their nakedness to make them old. Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17. Let's read that. Deuteronomy 23 verse 17. The most I said there should not be old among the children of Israel. Read. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall not be war of the daughter of Israel. There shall not be old among the daughters of Jerusalem. Which you are. You are princesses. Princesses are not meant to be dressed in this manner. My sister, is it right for a lady to wear trousers? So read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall not be war of the daughters of Israel. They shall not be all of the daughters of Jerusalem. You should not be doing that. Give me the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Let's go chapter 19, verse 29. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter. He said, don't prostitute your daughters. How do you prostitute your daughters? By these clothings that you wear. And then, as the mother is, so is who the child is. What you wear is what your daughter is going to wear. We need to repent from all these things. We need to repent from all these things. We have been destroyed as a people. And according to the Proverbs, go back to Proverbs 26, 28. Proverbs 26, 28. Proverbs 26, 28. The book of Proverbs, read. The book of Proverbs chapter 26, verse 28. A lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it. So the person who is telling you to wear trousers, the person who is telling you that you can wear tight clothing, the person who is telling you that when you wear your top, you can open up your cleavage, hates you. You think you are involved. You are not involved. You are actually a prostitute. That's right. You are a prostitute. If you don't know, you are a prostitute. When you dress and you reveal the shape of your body, you are a prostitute. Right. Don't think you are dressing out of your house and you are dressing to kill. You are not dressing to kill. You are just going there to become a prostitute. You understand? Right, right, right. So repent from all the things because these things are going to destroy you at the later end. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is
nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 